congratulations. And thank you for owning one of the most sophisticated trailer braking systems available today. Whether you tow for work or play, you can depend on Tecancha to enhance your towing experience by working to make sure both your tow vehicle and the trailer it's pulling slow down and stop at the same time. Over the next several minutes, we will show you some important setup steps to be sure you have the smoothest braking experience possible. If you have questions or need more specific information, please either refer to the installation and owner's guide enclosed with your control or call us. The Prodigy RF power module can be mounted on any suitable location available on the trailer frame. The preferred mounting location on a travel trailer is on the side of the trailer's frame just behind the coupler with the 8-foot cable directed toward the tow vehicle. Make certain that the power module's cover is in the up position. The cover should always be pointed toward the sky. Use the self-tapping screws provided. Or for added security, tamper-resistant washer head screws may be purchased from your local hardware or auto parts store. When mounting the power module on a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer, the cover of the power module should not be mounted against the underside of the frame or in an enclosed area, as this may interfere with the radio frequency. Once the power module is securely mounted, simply plug its seven-way cable into the tow vehicle. Leave the trailer's seven-way cable unconnected to the power module until it has been paired with its handheld remote control. The remote handheld unit has three primary purposes. The first is to provide the driver a manual brake override as required by law. The second purpose is to give the driver an indication of what is happening within the trailer braking system and to assure a positive electrical connection between the tow vehicle and trailer. The third purpose of the handheld remote is to adjust the amount of power output delivered from the trailer mounted module to the trailer brakes during a braking event. Pairing a Prodigy RF remote handheld to the power module is very much like adapting a remote to a garage door opener. This is how it's done. First, be sure that the trailer mounted power module's seven way plug is securely inserted into the tow vehicle's connector. Second, if it's not already disconnected, disconnect the trailer's seven way cable from the Prodigy RF trailer mounted power module. Now, start the vehicle's engine. After the engine has started, plug the handheld unit into any 12 volt auxiliary power port within easy reach of the driver or operator. Dial the power wheel located on the right side of the handheld unit downward to its minimum position. You will see either flashing zeros or N.C in the display. Now simultaneously depress and hold both the manual override located on the left side of the unit and the boost button located on the upper right hand corner near the display. Once the two buttons are depressed, the display will begin a countdown starting with P5 down to PA. After the PA becomes visible, the manual override and boost button can be released. Press and hold the vehicle brake pedal. The display should change from PA to flashing zeros. This will indicate that the units are paired correctly and that the vehicle brake pedal can be released. Now dial the power wheel up to an output greater than minimum. Since the trailer's seven-way plug is not connected to the trailer-mounted power module, you should see a flashing NC. The last step in the process is to firmly connect the trailer's seven-way connector to the rear of the power module. The remote handheld display will now show a dot C dot for proper connection. This indicates that the remote handheld unit can see the electrical connection to the trailer. It is important to know that the Prodigy RF will still work and apply your trailer's brakes if the remote handheld unit is accidentally disconnected from the 12-volt auxiliary port. 
it is the power supplied through the seven-way vehicle connection and the sensor located in the trailer mounted module that actuate the trailer brakes, not the radio frequency used to set the proper power level at the beginning of your trip, nor the return signal that indicates your braking status. If by chance your handheld unit does become disconnected, the trailer brakes will be applied according to the last delivery power command sent from the handheld unit. One more important note, you can pair any number of handheld devices to a single power module. Each will work exclusively with their assigned module and no other unless the pairing procedure is performed with another system. This prevents the possibility of interaction between separate trailers while on the road. Because every trailer is different, your brake control needs to learn the weight of the trailer and the condition of the trailer brakes. This is required to determine the optimum power necessary during an emergency stop without trailer wheel lockup. Once you've mounted the power module to the trailer, plugged in the handheld unit and paired the two, squeeze the manual override control and set the power to approximately 6.0. Then tow the trailer to a dry level surface. Take the vehicle up to 25 miles per hour and reactivate the manual override. If the trailer wheels lock up, slightly reduce power and retest. If the wheels turn freely, increase power to a point just before wheel lockup and retest. It's that easy. For information to fine tune your system for optimal performance, check your owner's guide for details. Because you own one of the most advanced braking systems available today, very little is involved in preparing for your trip. Your brake control uses a patented boost system to allow you to change the feel of each braking event. There are four levels of boost, B, B1, B2, and B3. Your brake control is programmed from the factory to boost one or B1. To operate this feature, depress the blue button several times until B dot appears in the display window. This is the least aggressive setting of the boost options and should create a condition where you can barely feel the trailer braking. For more aggressive braking, touch the button again to show B.1 in the display. This setting makes the sensor more sensitive to motion and delivers current to the trailer brakes slightly ahead of the tow vehicle's braking system. One more touch reveals B.2 in the display and an even more aggressive braking feel. One more depression of the boost button takes you to B.3. This setting will be required when the trailer being pulled is significantly heavier than the tow vehicle. Never pull a trailer that exceeds the vehicle manufacturer's recommended gross combined weight rating. The reverse feature will disable the boost for a short period of time. This is intended for use when there is no need for aggressive braking, such as backing up. To enable this feature, hold the boost button while pressing the vehicle's brake pedal until dot R dot is displayed. Release both the boost button and vehicle brake pedal. This will temporarily turn the boost off. The boost will automatically restore itself to the previously set level after three minutes of no braking activity or pressing the boost button. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road.